Good morning, Hope Street Radio. I'm Tulip Morris, and what a beautiful snowy morning it is. Now, in a surprising turn of events yesterday, Zach Sellers and Lena Cord were spotted donning matching elf costumes at the Christmas market. Now, they looked pretty good, you know, jointly watching over Santa at the North Pole. Could there be a holiday romance brewing between the two? The star certainly seems to think so. You know, puts me in the mood for some romantic Christmas tunes. Look at this! You two got a whole page in the star. Uh, Let me see. Cedar Hill musicians... (gasps) Strike up more than just a melody? No, they have to withdraw this. Why? Because we are not striking anything up. They're not saying you are. They're asking if you are. It's insulting. Adrian, what if my students saw this? Come on, they're smart, right? It's just fodder. But you two do look really cute. I mean, it's a cute story. Am I cute to you right now? You're doing so great, you know? You're taking risks, adapting to challenges. Oh, is this flattery? Wait, what do you want? This journalist wants to interview you. Olivia Reynolds from The Star? The one with the cute story? Yeah, not a chance. Chords Music is a prestigious company. With all these rumors going around, I think it'll make for a good interview. And good publicity. You mean good gossip? Tell them your side of the story. Chords history, the reason for change. Take control of the narrative. Hmm. I I would like to clear things up. So I'll reply. Uh, Okay. Thanks, Adrian. Uh, By the way, what happened with the Robster? I saw you chatting a bit at the market. We did chat a bit. And I've got a date. (gasps) You do not! Oh my god, when? Tonight. And I do have you to thank for it. Are you going to wear something nice? I have the perfect outfit. New York fab. Ooh, have you worn New York fab for me yet? No, honey. It's just for Mayor Price. Oh, okay. Well, get out of here, you brilliant man, and have a lovely night. You're brilliant. Call you later. Great job, everyone. That sounded much better. Take a five-minute break. Doc! Come on in. You're right on time. And, oh my gosh. Hi, Mrs. Sellers. So great to see you. Hi, Lena. You have to call me Wendy. I'm not staying long. I just dropped off some deviled eggs for the seniors' dinner this evening, and I just thought I could listen in for a bit. Oh, I do love a deviled egg. It's truly incredible what egg can become. Please, take a seat. We've been rehearsing the ensemble section, Zach. I want to hear you and Leo on your duet. Sounds good to me. Hey, Zach. Hey, kids. How are you feeling about this piece, Leo? I'm confident. All right. Let's crush this. Okay. Zach and Leo, from the top of the second page, first line only. Two, three, four. Very good. Oh, we're going to start again from the top and continue through. Just pay attention to... The timing, right. No, the phrasing. Make it flow smoothly. Legato. Are you sure? Zach, who's holding the baton here? Makes you look like a wizard. <laughs> it's a conductor's <laughs> baton. Okay, ready? Two, three, four. Wonderful, you two. Glad you came, Mrs. <laughs> Wendy. You know, it's wild seeing you two play together again. Zach, that was the most you've smiled since you came home. 
<laughs> That's not true. Well, you make a very good team. Well, so we should head out, Mom. Yeah,、uh, I'm off too. Oh, Lena, you should join us for dinner tonight. Um, I'm pretty sure she has plans. Jim would love it, and I save those devils for tonight. Oh, thank you, but you have to eat, don't you? Jim said he mentioned it already, Lena. He did say those exact words. Perfect. Let's go. Mmm, that was such a great meal. Thank you. Wine, Lena. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Jim. I think it's great what you're doing for the students and for the town. Both of you. Lena's got the reins on that one. I wasn't sure about it at first, but it's been really good. I think we can agree we were both unsure. It just took some patience to figure out. Patience? Who is this person with all the patience? Yes, I'd like to meet that person too. I have patience. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you have the patience.、Hmm. It also takes perseverance. I agree with that. If I could do something else, anything else, I would. Teaching is your calling.、Uh, what's the saying?、Um, better than a thousand days study is one day with a great teacher. I appreciate that. Your dad was a wonderful teacher too. And a great man. Terrible lawn bowler. <laughs> Zach talked about him all the time when he was a student. Everyone loved Mr. Cord. He is possibly the main reason I pursued music. He would be so proud of you, Lena. You're doing a great job with the company. Thanks. Well, now, how about some dessert?、Uh, oh, here. Let me help you. So, how is it really working with our Zach? Oh, it's、uh, great. Don't worry. I know it can be frustrating dealing with someone who's so obsessed with his image and being charismatic and entertaining. Yeah, well, he always had a stage presence. And I have no idea where he got it from. <laughs> But he's also honest and loyal and driven, and a very smart guy, except for when it comes to relationships. Meaning? Well, he's never really had one. Not since you know. You. Oh, I find that hard to imagine. Well, we've never met anyone, not even at those award events, and it's true, you know.、Uh, your dad had a big impact on him. You know how devastated he was when he heard. He doesn't show it, but he's always cared about you a lot. Right. Here, you take out the pie. I'll follow with plates. <laughs> More pie, Lena? Oh no, thank you. But I don't think I've had a better pie in my life. I, I should get going. Glad you came, dear. Don't be a stranger. Thank you. <laughs> I'll try. All right. See you soon. Bye, Lena. I can drive you home. Oh no, I'm not getting in that car. <laughs> I'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'll walk you. It's snowing out. I love the snow, honestly. Don't mind the mistletoe. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> I had a great day. Yeah, the day was great. Lena, I am.、Um, Lovely dinner, Zach. Um, are you sure I can't walk you home? It's just four blocks. Okay. Bye. Lena looked back at the house. Wrapped in a still embrace of the winter night, inside the windows there was a promise of love and joy and comfort. She turned and walked up the snowy neighborhood that sparkled with a thousand twinkling lights, as if the stars had descended to earth. Up Hope Street and into the apartment above her shop, she was suddenly struck by a feeling of longing. That feeling that she was missing something. Hey, Rachel. Seems like you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, actually, it's been fun. The concert's gonna be great. The 
kids need to work on finding the staccato moments, but I'm doing this wicked solo with this kid. I, the little dude, he reminds me of myself. Anyway, for the first time in ages, I feel, I feel creative again. Oh, okay. Just don't get carried away. The label is about to make us a big offer for the tour. I can feel it. Zach, how's it going? Sure, uh, great stuff, Rachel. Listen, I gotta go. Hey, Robbie. Good. Just prepping for the concert. I didn't see the Lamborghini out today. I left it at home. Taking the simple route. That's new. I like simple once in a while. So, how are things? Yeah, not bad. Rehearsals are on point. No, I mean, how are things with Lena? Oh, um, I don't know. Every time I see you two together, it's like high school again. Mm-hmm. Something going on between you two? Uh, I knew it. I think you never stopped having feelings for her. I read that in the newspaper, too. There's nothing between us, Robbie. Anyway, she's made it pretty clear that she's not interested, and we don't even really know each other anymore. She doesn't know me outside of rehearsals and pop stars Zach Sellers. So? Then show her. Hey, Zach? Yes, Sadie? Why did you bring that tiny amp? My pocket amp? It's for when I want to rock out. Are you going to rock out? Uh, what's this now? Well, since rehearsal is over, I thought I'd go over to Town Square and do some busking. Your what? Cool. Yeah, I used to busk back in the day. Actually, Miss Lena used to join me. <laughs> she didn't. Can we come too? Mm, only if Miss Lena joins. Now, I know what you're thinking. Zach, with a plan? I hardly believed it either. I didn't realize that such a sharp mind was hidden behind that haircut. There's more to this one than meets the eye. Why not? It's just like rehearsals, but outside. Yeah, why not? No concert music, just freeform rocking out. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do it. <laughs> What's your instrument? Violin case drum. What's that? It's a violin case as a drum. Excellent busking instrument. What if I do some finger plucking on the violin? And I'll be bowing. Perfect. <gasps> Look, people are already <laughs> gathering around. OK. Ready, team? We were born ready. Five, six, seven, eight. We're killing it, guys! <laughs> Just grooving over here, no big deal. Your busking adventure is all over social media. Ooh, I am actively ignoring the news right now. So you didn't see? Huh? Look! You and the students look like you're having such a good time. And Zach kind of looks like a normal guy. Oh, tell me, how did you end up at his house for dinner? What? How did they... Uh, anyways, it's his parents' house, and Wendy insisted. Well, you can't say no to Wendy. How was it? It could have been awful, but it wasn't. You know, with all the press attention on you both, I can see where they're getting their stories from. Do you like him again? Did another beam fall on your head? Maybe the fumes in here are getting to you. Okay, okay, so no romance? Adrian, I've already been burnt once. Even if there was, he's in a different world with his tours and his managers and his fans. I'm not forgetting, but people change. Worlds change. I don't know. Zach has always loved shiny things. And there's no gold in Cedar Hill. That is a bit dramatic. <laughs> I'm feeling dramatic. Well, anyway, you're right. You deserve the best. Thanks, Adrian. But look at this picture of him looking at you. Isn't he smitten? Ugh, a trick for the cameras, babe. He told me how he does it. He goes to Central Park in his mind. Anyways, can we please change the subject? Well, online sales are going great. 
Uh huh. And how was your date last night? Ah, uh, uh, well, <laughs> Robbie had a meeting with another town mayor or something, so we took a rain check. He bailed? No big deal. He's he's busy. So we're doing our third attempt at our first date this Friday night. Oh. Well, he has a lot on his plate. I can tell he likes you. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see. Hey, you two. Hey. Oh, hey, Zach.、Uh, I have to go and、um, mail some mail. Bye. <clears throat> so, how's the day going? Just taking care of the store today. I came to drop off some of my mom's cookies for the construction team. Have one. Sure. Mmm. Looks good. <laughs> the shop is looking better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thankfully, your dad says we'll be open earlier than he thought. Well, that's great news. I wanted to thank you for joining us, Busking. My manager was nuts about it. Really? In a good way? Yeah. She said the fans really loved that. Ah. I mean, it was cool to show her that I could do something that I want to do and. It still works positively, not totally schemed and PR organized. Right. Yeah. I guess that's cool. People like to see what's authentic. Authentic is a change for me. So I'm going to run errands today, but wondering, uh, you know, wh- uh, why don't you and I have a work dinner? We could talk about the show. Oh, yeah.、Uh, I I definitely need to prepare for all of it.、Um, Great. So. We can come up with something together. Yeah,、uh, that that could be helpful. And we'll eat. And eat at the same time. Great, talking and eating some food. Yes. Great. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Hope Street Pods presents a classical Christmas chord written by Rana Shemarani, featuring Nido as Lena Cord and Ian Ronigan as Zach Sellers. Joined by ensemble cast Connor Parnell as Adrian Ensley, Lisa Daru as Rachel, Sam Darko as Mayor Robbie, Hiro Kanagawa as Jim Sellers, Sarah Hayward as Wendy Sellers, and with me, Rona Rees as Tulip Morris. Hope Street Pods, a classical Christmas chord, was supported by Creative BC, the Province of British Columbia, UBCP Actra. Hey, I'm Ian Ronigan. I voice Zach on Hope Street Pods, a classical Christmas chord. An all-new episode is coming to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. You don't want to miss it. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take her out, and soon.